Please listen. Keep on speaking, pray that we can leave a better note. But I'm sure I don't fit. So be strong in your weakness. We got a weak and grab a buddy. Let's get it. Sleeping with denotes the nature or the condition of our relationship with, with respect to our enemy. When I say sleeping with, I'm almost speaking particularly to the church because what has happened, we all know that the world is sleep. And, and there's an expectation of them that, well, we, we, you know, we know they're going to be, they, they, they're, they're, not, they're not going to know some things about the devil. Um, because they're out there, and 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 uh, Paul says in Romans eight twenty eight, and we know that all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord and call according to His purpose. The we in that clause is not to everybody; it's just to the church, because the Pauline epistles were only written to uh, the church. So uh, when he says that, uh, he's making a distinction between us and them. So we have an expectation that the world is not going to know what's going on. They're going through life blindly. They're going, to li going through life with blinders on. Many of you might have had conversations with, with, with people uh, and, and, or friends of yours that don't want to have anything to do with church. And they got blinders on, and, and, and they're like, oh, man, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm having fun, doing what I want to do. I don't care nothing about God. I don't care nothing about church. Don't come to be talking about any of that stuff. And, and so uh, there's an expectation of us that they're, they're not going to know anything about that. But what has happened, the devil has become so shrewd in his influences that even it has infiltrated the church. And now we have even become ignorant in many instances of the devil's devices because he because he is so uh, shrewd in what he does. And you'll find out that there are some people that go to church every day and consider themselves faithful church members, but they're also part of the occult. And how can you serve two masters? The Bible says either you love one or hate the other. Our lesson, but we are... The, the, the last thing that we should do as children of God and as people of God is to be deceived by the enemy. That's why this is so important. That's why this is so important. Uh, it also suggests the closeness with which we are in relationship to our enemy. We are right next to, we are surrounded by our enemy. The Bible says we are in this world, but we are not of this world. When we're saved, it doesn't separate us from what's going on completely. I mean, we're going to be in this world. We're going to be interacting and encountering evil everywhere we go. But, the, 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 but what God doesn't want us to do is become consumed with, what, consumed with our environment. And that's what many of us have done. That's what has happened to us. I had a young lady ask me yesterday in, one of our, in our open house on Sunday, she said, well, you know, I know I'm, I, I'm saved and everything, but, you know, and I, 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 uh, I just don't think it's wrong to, to listen to uh, Beyonce and listen to uh, Jay-Z. I don't see what's wrong with it. Uh, you know, because, because uh, my salvation should be enough to cover me. But what you don't understand is, and I, and I kind of told it like this, how many of you have heard the, the phrase, if you let the devil ride, he's going to want to drive? Yep, yep. And, and he, is, he is one of the worst, if not the worst, passengers <laughs> ever. <laughs> if you ever let the devil ride in your car, you talk about somebody that's not afraid to die. That's like letting a suicide bomber in, in your car. Because he don't care nothing about his life or your life. The Bible says the thief coming not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. Now what about what about the what about that makes you think that it's okay to even be in relationship with him? Mm -hmm. That's and that's the gray area right there. That's the that is the that that's where we are, I believe, as people of God. Because I'll prove it to you. If I was to tell you right now, if I was to say to everybody in this room right now, the one 
the one person it was okay to hate, I mean thoroughly hate, because we remember we've always been taught not to hate anybody. Hate is a very strong word, right? But if there was one person it was okay to hate, it should be the devil. What would you say about that? I'm not sure if we're still supposed to do that, though. Wow. I'm not, not, I'm not sure. I would never Why not? Because I'm not supposed to hate nobody. I don't, I don't know that dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't love him. You, you know what I'm saying? Do. You uh, love the devil. I, no, I said I don't love him. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I said I don't know him. You don't know, <laughs> but you don't have to know him to hate him. So, uh, I mean, uh, and that's, and, and, and you proved my point. So, I, I you know, I kind of look at it like this. It's okay to hate the devil, and the way I demonstrate my hate for the devil is my worship for uh, my worship to God. The more I worship God, that demonstrates my hatred for the devil. Just to back that up, I'm just going to read the scripture. It's in Psalm 139. I'll start at verse 20 and read through maybe 23. It says, For they speak against thee wickedly. Talking about they speak against God. Mm -hmm. And thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And am not I, I'm sorry, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them for my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. So basically, and God talks about a lot of things, if you read in the book of Proverbs, where things that he considers an abomination, things that he hates that is totally against him, we're supposed to hate everything, everything exactly he what he hates. Because our thoughts are supposed to be like his, and our ways are supposed to be like his. And if you don't hate the enemy, then you're going to be sleeping with him. Well, I pray that you were blessed by the anointed Bible teaching. Uh, and, and God has opened up your understanding and shown you some things that you might not have known about or even confirmed some things that you might have had in the back of your mind. And we pray that this Bible lesson uh, uh, will help you uh, in your daily walk with God. Tune in next week because we want to continue with this series dealing with the subject of sleeping with the enemy. We thank you again for tuning in to the, uh, this edition of Pastor Simmons TV. Remember, you always can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook and Twitter family. Uh, it is steadily growing, and we thank all of you who are already a part of Pastor Simmons TV. You can also go to our website, www.michaelnimmons.com, where you can read our weekly blog, The Pastor's Perspective, where you can even download some of our ministry materials from the PowerPoints that we use for our Young Apostolic Students for Christ Bible lesson. You can also view Pastor Nimmons TV directly from michaelnimmons.com. We have a lot of great resources available for you. You can also uh, find out how to bring us to your city, your state, your, your town. We love to come and share God's word with you. Even sign our guest book. Let us know that you stopped by. Let us know this ministry is being a blessing to you. You can always email us at PastorNimmonsTV at gmail.com. Let us know, again, that God is blessing you through the ministry of Pastor Nimmons TV. Until next time, we thank you again for stopping by and seeing us. And we pray, as we always do, that you're being blessed by what you see at Pastor Nimmons TV. Let's get it, let's go! Let's get it.